Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you all of the items that I picked up during the month of January, so stick around. So January started off pretty slow. There wasn't very many new releases being released. I thought, man, I'm going to save some money this month. But then all of a sudden, um, everything went crazy again. I did end up finding a lot of items. Um, starting with January 1st, um, Vinegar Syndrome did have a sale. And I did pick up some items. I got Prospect, The Harvesters, um, Scanner Cop Collection, Scanner Cop and Scanner Cop 2. Dead Heat, Terminal Island, and Grave, The Grave. So really nice to have those in the collection. And then there were a few TV shows that I wanted to purchase. Um, I ended up getting Jack Ryan Season 1 and Season 2. Um, I really picked these up. I've been wanting to get them for a long time, um, but I was afraid I wouldn't get a slip with it. And then I saw someone on Instagram show theirs and it had a slip. So I thought, man, I'm going to go ahead and jump on that, see if I can get the slip covers. So I was very fortunate to be able to get both of these with a slip. And then we got a DVD season three release for Cobra Kai. Um, very happy to have this one. I love this um, show on Netflix. So very happy to have another season. Um, too bad it wasn't on Blu-ray. Um, then Disney had some releases. We got Chip and Dale. Um, Rescue Rangers, the complete series on Blu-ray. This is not exclusive to the Disney Movie Club. You can get this from Amazon if you, um, it's already released if you want to check that out. And then also a uh, Disney Movie Club exclusive was Tangled Rapunzel's Adventure. All three seasons. Wasn't very familiar with this, but I do like the animation and I do like the complete series and exclusive, so I went ahead and got that one. And then we had this very disappointing release for Pirates of the Caribbean. So here's a 4K release, which I hear is terrible, um, but I did get this one, even though it was terrible. Um, some other 4K releases I got was the Toolbox Murders. This right here was from Blue Underground. And then I got Last Night in Soho. And then of course we have the release for Dune. I did get the Walmart um, exclusive packaging and from shop factory i did get this folklore trilogy um irish folklore trilogy um, box set really happy to have this one in the collection very nice looking uh, packaging a very hard box style and i finally received my shaw scope volume one set from arrow video so happy to have that one in the collection then some other um, titles that i got I got from Classic Flicks, I ordered all four seasons of The Little Rascals, all four volumes, I must say. So um, I got volumes one, two, three, and volume four was released in January. So happy to have all four volumes of this. They will continue putting these out. I grew up watching these. I love these um, shorts, so I'm very happy to have that one. In, those in the collection. Um, some other releases I got. I got the Thumbelina um, animated uh, movie with a slipcover. I got the I don't know how to pronounce that, but I got this one with a slipcover. I've heard some good things about that. I got Titane, which I've heard some really great things about. So happy to have that one in the collection. Um, I got the Dry. I've heard some good things about this one. The Night House. Spencer. I got. I finally got the three um, films from Robert Rodriguez collection. So I was able to get this one. I've, I've been wanting to get it and for whatever reason I kept putting it off. And this is another one that I kept putting off was Nomadland. Um, I finally decided to purchase this. I was hoping that they would do another release that had a slipcover or maybe even get a 4K release, but they never have. So I went ahead and got this one. And then from Warner Archive, I got National Velvet. I got um, The Eyes of Tammy Faye. And I got the Bad News Bears um, remake that they did. I enjoyed this one. I enjoyed the original. And I definitely enjoyed this one also. And then from Paramount Presents, I got Harold and Maude. 
Um, I got the Target exclusive Dune release with the art cards. And then I got this one. I saw this one on Instagram and I researched it. It looks like something that would be really good. This is called um, Labyrinth of Cinema. Not very familiar exactly with what all it contains. It is a still book, um, but I definitely wanted to get this one, so I picked it up. And then I got the Titans of Cult Casino Royale limited edition 4K release. And I got the Citizen Kane 4K release from Zavi. I got the card player. Um, I got this from Kino Lorber. This is the Scorpion releasing release. Um, another one from Kino Lorber, um, Gambit with the slipcover. The Great Escape 4K release from Kino. Um, Nothing But Trouble from Shout Factory. This is Shout Select release. Um, Little Big League is another Shout Select release. I got Low Life with a slipcover. And then I got from Australia, I got Day of the Dead Season 1. And then I got Sensor from Second Sight. Really like the artwork on this one. Also from Second Side, I got Session 9. And then we got the Vestron release for Candyman um, 3, Day of the Dead. And then I got this movie called Life Changer. And I got Low Life. Um, this right here I got from Raven Banner. So the reason why I picked up this edition is because I wanted it again with a different slipcover variant. So I got both of those now. Then I got this DVD release. Actually, this is a Blu-ray release in a DVD size packaging. Um, it says, Todd and the Book of Pure Evil, The End of the End. So I'm not really sure what this is about. It's an animated movie that's a continuation of a TV series. Um, I do need to find the TV series to add to the collection. I got from Arrow Video, I got Shock, which I've heard some disappointing things about. And I got Sleep, which I heard will put you to sleep if you watch it. Someone said it was pretty boring. I don't know. And then I got some Steelbook releases. I got the Mad Max Anthology um, 4K release that I did an unboxing for if you want to check it out. And I also got the Monsterverse 4 film collection release. I did an unboxing of that one also if you want to check those out. Okay, some other still books I got. I got The Punisher on 4K Best Buy exclusive. I got Avengers Age of Ultron Mondo release from Zavi. I got Thor The Dark World from Zavi Mondo release. I got Iron Man 2. I got Halloween Kills um, from Zavi with the silver uh, Michael Myers there in the picture. And then I got the red edition from Best Buy. I got the Best Buy exclusive for Requiem for a Dream 4K release. And I got the Best Buy um, 4K release for Dune and also for Juice. And then back in November and December there was a Nova Media sale. I got Cube, American Psycho, Oh Brother Where Art Thou, Q28, Life is Beautiful, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, The Children Act, Goodwill Hunting, Van Helsing, Bridge to Terabithia, let Me In, Criminal, and Love Actually. And I was recently able to purchase these Walmart slipcovers that someone purchased for me. So very happy to have these in the collection. I did do a slipcover Saturday for those releases if you want to check it out. And then also during the month of January, I did get 30 imprint film titles added to the collection. I did videos for all of these. So if you want to check those out, I really do love um, the imprint film line. They've got some really great looking titles. So very happy to have all of these in the collection. So like I said, it was a very busy month for purchases that if I wouldn't have, 
If I wouldn't have gotten all of these and just stuck with the regular releases, it would have been a very light month. But I'm very happy to have all of these added to the collection. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you were able to pick up during the month of January. Also, let me know what you think about the purchases that I got during the month of January. I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on TikTok. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.